What's going down y'all? Welcome back to another video and if I'm wearing the same thing as the previous two videos, I filmed all three videos in the same day. I don't really care. But uh, today we do have a darker complexion face shade for you guys. I've been trying to get that in because, you know, I like to show different women, different skin types, different complexions. Cause, you know, we're all from different places. So if you can relate to this, if it helps your skin journey in any way, uh, if you're skeptical having darker complexion, um, hopefully this helps. So, so yeah, man, we are going to be removing hair and dead skin from the face. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Leave a like if you do. Um, subscribe if you're new and let's get into it. All right, y'all, first things first, as always, we have to start out with the pre-shave treatment. Really, this is just cleaning the skin. So if you want to use witch hazel, rubbing alcohol, uh, soap and water, whatever you guys want to use that best matches your skin type uh, to remove any makeup, dirt, oils that might get in the way of the actual shave, uh, this is what we want to do right now. All right, so what you guys are about to see is a lot of dead skin and hair coming off the face. Now, it might look like her face is dirty or whatever the case may be, but that's not the case. And actually, this is completely normal. This is just hair and dead skin bundled up, um, and we're just, you know, shaving it off the face. And that's the main purpose of this service, and allowing your skin to be just skin. You know, when you apply these products, foundations, concealers, contour, even your facial washes, we want these products to be applied directly to the skin. And when we have this layer of hair and dead skin that kind of gets in the way and defeats the purpose of the products you, you know, intend on using. So as you guys can see with my opposite thumb, this is the main tip I can give you guys for a safe shave. Pull the skin away from the razor, allowing that skin to be tightened and allowing that razor to glide a lot easier. Yes, I did apply some Easy Blaze shaving gel to allow that razor to glide a lot easier, but this can be completely achieved um, by just pulling the skin. I, I can't stress that enough. Pull the skin away from you and then follow up the razor in the opposite direction. I see these type of comments all the time on my channels. Why did he put the ethnicity of the woman in the title? Why did he put the color? Bro, everyone has different skin type. Now, if you're searching for a video that you can relate to, let's say you're a black woman or a white woman, you, you're gonna click on a video that you can relate to. And it's kind of like me being a barber. I can't cut a black dude's hair the same as I cut a white dude's hair. It's a different type, it's a different texture, it's a different feel. And ultimately, if I cut them the same, it's gonna be a different result. And it's the same thing with skin type, skin care. Everybody's products is different. Well, what may work for one person may not work for you. So I like to, you know, show diversity, let, let people know so they can relate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now moving on to the post shave care, this is some toner. This is some Korean skincare products. If you guys wanna watch the last video I used uh, these products in, you guys can click the link right above in the right corner. But this is some toner just to kind of wipe away any excess dead skin or hair or oils that might be left on the skin. Kind of just refresh the skin a little bit. And to keep things light on her skin, we're gonna just use the Korean skincare facial lotion. I kind of like this product a lot. So it's, it's light, it's lightweight, um, and it just adds proper moisture into her skin. And that's all we wanna do is clean the skin, shave it, clean it again, moisturize, protect, and she's out the door. And last but not least, we're gonna use a frozen jade stone roller. And as you guys can see, it's very, very cold, but it does feel amazing on the skin. And I think it's just used to push blood around the face, you know, get circulation back into the skin, close the pores, the, the temperature, how cold it is kind of shrinks the pores a little bit. Um, but you know, people use this to smooth out the wrinkles and just, you know, massage the face a little bit. And um, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I see you guys soon. Peace.